to much worse. So it's short-term rather than long-term. It's emotion rather than thinking. And I'm saying, if you really value your life, if you want to live a good life, think, don't just feel. Long-term, not just short-term. That's the recipe for living a good, long, successful life. I'll give you an example of a business. If you lie in business, what will happen? Someone will expose you for lying. Yeah, somebody will expose you, and then do you think other people will want to do business with you? No. No. They'll go to your competitors, and they'll do business with your competitors. If you're an employee and you lie, you'll get fired. They'll hire somebody else who's not going to lie. Okay? If you lie to your wife or to your husband often enough, they're going to get rid of you, right? You're going to get divorced. Lying is an awful strategy for living a good life. If you lie to your best friend, how long are they going to be your best friend? Not very long. So, yes, it sometimes feels like it's easy. Sometimes it's a way to get around things, but it almost always backfires. It almost always at the end. So it's good in life to have principles, to have things that I just don't do those things. So, for example, lying, I just don't lie. Right? It's much easier for me to tell the truth. It's, it, it's cleaner. I don't have to worry about getting caught. And yeah, sometimes it's uncomfortable. And sometimes people don't like what I say because I'm telling the truth. But you know what? That's still easier than the alternative. Two minutes. Two minutes. Any other questions? Or? <coughs> so that same thing is true about stealing, about cheating, about all these shortcuts that people have. It doesn't actually serve your own life. So let me just say, in summary, because we have two minutes, two things. One, your life is what matters. you got to make the most of it. you got to live the best life that you can live. To do that, you need two things. You need to use your mind, and you need people to leave you alone. You need freedom. You need to be free. You need to be able to act on your, va on, on your own mind without other people forcing themselves on you telling you what to do and how to do it. The most valuable thing we still have in this country today is, at least in many realms, freedom. Freedom to speak. So if you believe in something, speak. Don't stay silent. If you have an idea, express it. Go do it. Act on it. We still have the freedom to do this. Our ancestors did not. You know, before the founding of this country, and even for some people during the founding of this country, right? We had slavery for a long time where people weren't free. So the fact that we have freedom is so incredibly valuable. And businessmen are taking advantage of that freedom to produce stuff and goods and material and wealth that everybody benefits from. It makes us all richer and, and, you know, and, and better at the end of the day. Questions? All right. I want to thank you very much for coming. Thank sure. You. Pleasure. Thank you.